Isa ang Clark Pampanga sa mga naging base ng mga Amerikano noong matapos ang World War II. Mula noon, naging malaking impluensya na sa mga kapampangan ang mga Amerikanong na destino rito. Dati siyang base ng mga Americans, so sanay kami sa mga bisita. Rason din niyo kung bakit maraming mga foreigners dito at saka maroon din kasi mag-English yung mga kapampangan. Eh. So maraming mga uh, language schools dito sa Clark, Pampanga. So maraming mga foreigners. So may mga Americans, may mga Koreans, Chinese. Kaya dinudubog kami dito. And isa pang dahilan kung bakit maraming bumupunta sa Clark is because of it's a business hub. Tinayo itong Clark no, para magbigay ng uh, economic activity as well as ano, trabaho sa mga nakapaligid sa Clark. Isa sa dahilan ng pag-unlad ng Pampanga ang pagkakaroon ng international airport dito sa Clark. Kaya maraming mga flying activities dito gaya ng annual hot air balloon festival. Meron ding mga flying school dito kung saan pwede kang mag-aral magpalipad ng eroplano. So this is the simulator room. So we actually have three simulator. Okay. So this one is what we're going to use. Okay. So this is the same uh, simulator, uh, same controls that we will have in the actual flight. Okay. So And students, yeah, yeah. Uh, students before they uh, go to the actual flight, they have to undergo this one. Okay. So we, I will uh, show you all the basic controls. Mm -hmm. I will let you control it. I will let you take off and then land the plane. Okay. So. Hat na hat pa naman akong ma-experience ang pagpapalipad ng isang replano. Pero dahil maulap at hindi ganun kaganda ang panahon, hindi kami nagbigyan ng go signal ng Philippine Airbase. Okay lang, at least I can do the next best thing. Agad na itinuro sa akin ni Captain ang mga control ng eroplano. Ang simulator na to ay may exact measurements at functions ng mismong eroplano na sinasakyan ng student pilots. At para ka na rin sumakay ng totoong eroplano. Importante rin na tumingin sa paligid pag lumilipad at pantayan ng altitude at power. It's funny if you're a first timer, you have so many things to think about, new things to think about, but for sure, um, after a few tries, parang kahit pa nang gagawin mo controls, kakapain mo din eh, dahil syempre, it's like, siguro when you're driving a car, di ba? The feel of every car is different. Ito rin, this is, yeah. yung controls pa lang eh, kailangan mo talagang kapain. Um, but the stimulator is, is fantastic. Um, before you could actually crash a plane. <laughs> no, no, you don't crash a plane. Before you fly a plane. Oh, I think this is really uh, the best thing to do first. All right, turning 290. Hey, what are you doing? Are you <laughs> From plane rides to horse rides, ang nadala ng mga Amerikano dito sa Pampanga. Isa ang horse enthusiast na si Sheriff Gabby sa mga nagpapatuloy ng horseback riding sa Clark. Ipinapasa niya sa mga biyahero ang kanyang pagmamahal sa mga kabayo. At minsan, dinadala pa niya sa mga scenic sites sa Pampanga ang mga biyahero sakay ng mga kabayo niya. Ang pinakabagong horseback spot na nadiscubi niya ay ang tinatawag na canyon. Malagrand canyon ng Amerika naman kasi ang ganda ng lugar na to. Kumulan man. No umaraw, tingnan niyo naman ang ganda dito. Ang ruta na to, inaplano pa lang nilang gawing official route sa kanilang horseback riding trips. We haven't perfected it yet. Okay. And uh, the riders have to be more adventurous. Mm. Uh, we're trying to put horses there. Okay. So that, uh, you know where you came in at Kuning? That, 
at the curb. Yeah. From there, uh, we'll we'll park maybe about five, six horses mm -hmm. and make okay. it available for people that come. And then this is like a what half a day, full day? Uh, it can be a thirty minute, can be one hour, mm -hmm. can be longer. Right. Uh, depends on to where they want to go. How young can they can they get uh, before they ride a horse? They even four, six is okay. The uh, young ones is all right because they we don't try to make them learn. Uh, it's not in the advisable. Oh, okay. But, uh, they will get turned off. They'll get uh, first time. Baka may karon sila ng trauma or yeah, something. Yeah, the horse will not do what they want to do. You know, like they, they see in the movies. Yeah, yeah. Of that sort. Right. right. But um, the minute they're about between eight and ten, and they want to learn more, mm -hmm. then they go for lessons. Uh -huh. as well. And that that becomes interesting. They're gonna be thirsty and hungry enough for more. Yeah. Oh, okay. Young guys, old guys, they, they ride. Sometimes, like, uh, we have, you know, a lot of inspiration is a fellow, 75 years old, okay. um, Japanese. He competed, he still competes. The only problem is it was his horse he gave, so th he couldn't participate in the Olympics because of his horse. Oh, okay. Queen Elizabeth, she's what, 90 years old? She still rides? Still rides? Yeah. Wow. So, you know, it's something, I mean, Churchill, and there's no. Uh, nothing better than when on the saddle. I mean, there's no time wasted. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, okay. You, you can do many things. You can think. You can reflect. And right. Then uh, you don't have to ride with other people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kung di nyo feel ang horseback riding at great outdoors, there you Magpalamig na lang kayo sa indoor pools and slides sa bagong water park na to. Abay, alam mo kung uh, perfect time ito eh. Summer na summer ang init. Buti na lang may bagong attraction dito sa Clark. Probably around over 38 slides and pools. Dahil mga sirena, libre lang silang tignan. Meron na mga mascots na sumasayaw at kumakanta. Huwag nila silang ihag. Ako? Ang Boogie Bay. Siyempre, mas masaya kung may kasama. At yak, papatok ang Octopus Racer for the kiddos. And kids at heart like me. Pero for lovers of the extreme, ito na ang pinakamalaking slide sa loob ng park, ang Tornado! Tara na, Vieros! Pagingi ako sa sigaw na kasama namin, no, producer. At, uh, super fun. Super fun yan. Kailangan talaga apat. Ayos pa. Kasi medyo weighted. Mas maganda yung tapon ng inflatable. Yeah, definitely. Uh, if ever you're gonna ride a ride, kaya ito yan. Kung medyo ninenebius naman kayo sa matataas na slides, bakit hindi na lang magpalutang-lutang sa kanilang wave river? O magpadala sa alin ng wave pool? Dito po sa Aqua, we have uh, uh, rates for weekends and weekdays. So for weekdays po, it's uh, $9.50 for adults and then $7.50 po for uh, kids. And then po for weekends and holidays, it's uh, 1,180 pesos for adults and then $9.80 po for kids. Below 40. 
Importante na sulitin ang pools dito, Bieros, dahil from 9am to 5pm lang bukas ang park. From water fun to unlimited fun at a Korean table, Samgyup is life, ika nga. Habang hinihintay nating maluto ang karne, appetizer muna, ala opa! Kompleto rin ang ibang Korean dishes dito. Pero hindi ko ma-enjoy kung ako lang mag-isa. Mas masarap pag may kasama. Itong mga Korean siguro mga ano, early to 2000, no? nakita nila yung kagandahan ng Clark no? bilang investment hub. No? Dahil um, tahimik ang Clark, fence ang Clark. This is probably one of the best quiet resorts I've ever been to. Sa wakas, masasabi ko na matutulog ako sa mansion. As always, luxury comes with a price. For 5,000 to 9,000 pesos a night, your room comes with all amenities. From the game room to the gym and bar. Pati na ang malaking playground para sa mga bata. The whole place is called the villages. Bakit? Para siyang uh, ilang hektaryang lupa na may track, may football field, may soccer field, uh, may softball field or baseball field. Uh, meron silang uh, outdoor playground, may trampoline. Kapag sa gabi, meron silang bonfire dahil doon nila situate yung kanilang Movie night. Galing na yan na, na, na utilize nila yung malaking lote. At uh, ang sarap dalin dito yung mga anak ko dahil alam kung gusto nila tumakbo lang. That's awesome. This is awesome, actually. Cool. Let's go around. Ah! Pwede? Pwede. Receiving area. Na, I'm sure pwede rin tulog man. I'm six foot two. Kaya mga basketball player. Usual uh, complimentary water. You got your faucet over here. Meron silang ref. Flat screen TV. Bedroom. So one, two, three. Kasi kami ni Ia at ni Primo at ni Leon. CR, I'll see you there. Pute, pute, pute. Gusto ko pute. Malinis, simple. At mabango. Too big? Sensya na. Ayoko talaga umapak sa banyo ko. May too big. Okay. Awesome. Pero don't you worry, may mga American-style cabins naman na mas abot kaya. And did I say kompleto rin sa amenities? Starting with a man-made lake and spacious green scenery. Hindi lang sa matutuluyan matatanaw ang nakabibighaning mga tanawin. Siyempre, doon na tayo sa outdoors. Napakagad ng pagmasdaan, mga bihero. Iyan ang mga rock formation na nabuo mula sa pagsabog ng bulkang pinatubo noong 1996. And to appreciate it more, let's go for a 4x4 ride over the rocky trails, baby! Sa tour package na aming napili, kasama na ang rental sa isang 4x4 vehicle. Kung gusto niyo kayo ang magmaneho, pwede!
Well, medyo sanay na rin kasi ako, Bieros. Kung wala pa kayong masyadong experience sa off-road driving, I suggest mag-practice muna kayo. At sa dulo ng 4x4 experience, ito ang naghihintay sa inyo. pinupuntahan ng mga 4x4 uh, riders. Nagpa-park lang sila dyan at uh, bababa sila para makapunta na dito sa tinatawag nilang Avatar Gorge. Itong Avatar Gorge is around 200 meters long. Tapos ramdam mo na kagad yung change of temperature. Ang init-init sa labas, pagdating dito, uy, medyo malamig ka. Now, Paano ba nangyari itong gorge na to? Uh, apparently, dati itong dinadaanan ng tubig. Uh, but then, nagkaroon ng pinatubo. Eruption, so nag-divert daw yung tubig sa ibang lugar. Now, pinupunta ng mga tao for IG-worthy pictures and videos. Thanks! pang mas magandang rock formation sa bandang dulo nito. So, para ito yata yung tuldok sa pinaka-dulo ng uh, gorge. No? Ito yung tinatawag nila parang natural uh, God-made arc. Kung work of art ang loob ng Avatar Gorge, Kahaibang obra naman ang crepe-inspired pancakes na 100% kapampangan made! Pero inspired ang Eastern Asian na roti at Western Europe crepes at pancakes. Crepe loaded with veggies and meat. Talagang kakaibang pancake ito, Bieros. Kaya naman ang aking crew, ayun! Dami! Ayos siya, manyaman niya par. At pagsapit ng dilim, the perfect western setup is watching a movie under the stars. May ganyang vibe din sa tinutuluyan natin. Popcorn. Free popcorn. Bonfire. Free. Movie. Outdoor. Perfect. Okay, fine. Perfect sana kapag nasa sagada tayo at malamig. Okay, pang IG yung bonfire, I have to say. <laughs> but, <laughs> pero ang ganda ng setup. Probably December, Jan, Feb, pasok na pasok yung bonfire. Kahit dito sa Pampanga. But yeah, love the place. Spacious. Kasi init ng baga ng kanilang very own pugon, ang aking pizza dinner. Please don't judge me. Hindi ako ganito mag-order. Hindi ko kinakain lahat. Kapag may ano kong nakakausap kung saan-saan, hindi ko kilala. Grabe, uh, ang taho mo pala. Bakit hindi ka 350 pounds? Hindi ko naman kinakain lahat. Anyway, ito lang yung mga in-order para sa amin para i-feature dahil ito raw yung masasarap. So if ever pupunta kayo dito, ito daw yung kailangan niyo order. Hindi naman kailangan. Ito yung recommended. This is their mansion signature uh, salad. Got lemon, uh, melon, watermelon. Mm. Different kinds of pizzas. Okay? But think pesto with caramelized onions. They have their own pagon. Just to be clear, but it's still good. Ganda na pizza. For me, it's perfect. Open-faced. How do you eat this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
parang nakain ko lang tinapay. So it's always hard for me to eat. Fine. Ito yung magiging breakfast ko buhat. 